the journey for today's contenders will begin with a question, and it could end with an incredible £10,000. But there's bound to be plenty of twists and turns along the way, because this is Tipping Point. <laughs> Welcome to Tipping Point. Three players will be facing our machine and they're all hoping to win thousands today. So, let's meet them. I'm Teddy, an economic student from Essex. I'm Sandy, an actor from Yorkshire. And I'm Louise, a business owner from Devon. Good luck to you all. Let's play Tipping Point. So, in round one, you each start with three counters. Questions are on the buzzer. If you buzz in and give me a correct answer, you'll have a choice to make. You can either choose to play one of your counters into the machine or, if you think the machine isn't quite ready, and get one of your opponents to play one of theirs instead. Most of the counters you get out of the machine will add £50 to your score. That includes our mystery counters, which, of course, come with a bonus prize. But also nestled in the machine, we do have two double counters. If one of those falls for you, it'll double the entire value of your drop, and should one fall with the jackpot counter at the end of the game, you'll be leaving £20,000 richer. All three of you will be going through to play in round two, but you'll want to bank as much money as you can throughout the game, so keep an eye on those double counters, because they could make all the difference. Everybody ready? Yep. Hands on your buzzers, it comes your first question. In the opening lyrics of the popular children's song, I Can Sing a Rainbow, which colour is mentioned last after purple and orange? Sandy. Blue. It is blue, Sandy, yes. Nicely done. You get the first correct answer, so you get to make the first choice. Do you want to play or pass? I am going to pass. OK, to Louise one. or Tenny? I will get to Louise, I think. Right, Louise. OK. <laughs> Let's launch the machine and see if we can get you some money. What are you thinking looking at it down there? Uh, I think that the mystery isn't won and it's right on the edge, so I'm going to go for it already straight away. Let's we'll see if we can get it out. Drop zone <laughs> one, please. Timing spot on. Settles oh, good. nicely. Smart. Excellent. Is there anything going to go over the top and oh. slide over? Oh, oh no! Louise. <laughs> Everything but the drop. Oh, it's there. Oh. It's gone. It's gone now. Oh, but it's right. I think it might be. Oh, no. Let's just see as it comes forward. Can you get enough of a shove on the mystery? Oh, a little no. nibble, but nothing no. more. Sadly, never mind. The mystery survives. Here's your next question. In February 2021, which brand launched a limited edition chili version of its famous savoury spread made from yeast extract? Sandy. Marmite. It is Marmite, yes. Um, right, you're going to play this time, Sandy? I think I'm going to play. OK, where are you going to go? Drop zone one, I think. Power it up, please. There you go. Could be okay, good if you can get the silver one through. It's flat, at least, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, Ooh. that looks good. Now, that, that does look good, doesn't it? Good oh, spread. Oh. And, and the mystery drop. There well we done. go. Three counters, Sandy. £150. I like that. Good start for you. Let's take it and put it into your bank. Get you off the mark. You've also got your hands on a prize, which is a DJ Dex controller. Courtesy of Prezi Box. Ooh, brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> DJ Sandy. Wow. I like that. That's yes. that fun. <laughs> Love it. Uh, more importantly, you've got £150, so you're off the mark. You've got two counters still to play. Here's your next question. A famous Mini Cooper car chase and the iconic line, hang on a minute, lads, I've got a great idea. Sandy. Italian job. Both feature in which 1969 Michael Caine film? Yes, the Italian job. You're absolutely right. Oh. Are you going to play again, Sandy? Do you know what? I'm going to play. And drop zone one, I think. One again, please. Tipping point looks strong. Yeah. Top shelf's a little bit sketchy. Yeah, yeah it is. I'm worried about those holes, but we'll yeah. see. Get it on the double, maybe. That's where it drops. That could oh, work as well. Good. There we yeah. go. Hopefully, yeah. left hand side up against the wall. Slide over. Ooh. Oh, yep. yeah. There we go. Ooh. Is it going to go? Uh... Is it going to go? Is it? Nice. Oh, so there we go. Done. Four counters dropped. Let's give you £200 for those four. Take that from the machine and put it straight in your bank. It's going to put you on £350. You've got one counter still to play. Here's your next question. In May 2021, Rafael Nadal beat which world number one Serbian opponent to win the Italian Open in Rome? Sandy. Novak Djokovic. It was Djokovic, yes. Right, do you want to play your last counter or are you going to pass? I'm going to pass and hopefully it'll build up a little okay. bit and we'll for see what's going or Louise? We'll go for Tenny, I think. This right. Time. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Chance for you to get into the machine here. Tenny, where should we go? I think I'm going to go for drop zone four, try and get that mystery prize out. Let's get it Gradually. down on the bottom shelf, yeah. Fire up four, please. Really Ooh. bouncy. That's exactly. Uh, there you oh, go. Oh, that is right a good place. place. Like, that's where I wanted yeah. it. 
Oh, no. Oh, yeah. hey. OK, here we go, here we go. Separated nicely Come on, come on, well. come on. Keep it going, keep it going. No, just a bit more. Oh. Hey. Brilliant. Really awesome. nice, Tenny. Yep. Good Thank start you for the for counter. <laughs> Four counters, £200. Let's take it from the machine and put it in your bank. That's going to put you on £200, Tenny. You've got two counters still to play. Here's your next question. A 2020 TikTok trend, the Savage Challenge, shows users performing a choreographed dance set to a song by American rapper Megan the What? Teddy. Stallion. Stallion is right. You gonna play again, Teddy? Yeah, drop zone four. That's where the mystery is. I want that mystery. It's going to be mine. Fire up four, please. Oh, uh, that was so fast. Lovely. Right. Really this rapid, could be wasn't good. it? Louise, you're right. Uh, yep, yeah, okay. Well oh, done. Oh. Oh. There's one already. Oh. I'm gonna take a few more. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah, Very that's close, right. but not gonna go. Three counts did drop though, Tenny. That's enough to catch Sandy when we take that 150 pounds from the machine and put it in your bank. Put you on 350 with one counter still to play. Here's your next question. The cities of Cannes, Bordeaux and Dijon are located in which European country? Louise. France. They are French, yes. Right, you're gonna play Louise? Yeah, definitely. And those counters in four are right on the edge, so I've got to give it a go. Let's do it. Fire up four, please. Seven counts to draw your level with Tenny and Sandy. That's the side as well. Come on. Is it a good come position? On, come on. That's great. Just mm. Gonna get some of the first one. Oh. Uh, Touch yes, out. Yeah. Yes. That bowl just... Yes, oh, come it's on. Gonna, it's gonna tip over. Oh, wow. Yeah. Very nice, Louise. Very, Very nice. nice. Well done. Five counters to so 250 pounds. Good first amount of money for you there, Louise. Let's take it and put it into your bank. To put you just behind the other two. On £250, you've got one count still to play. OK. Here's your next question. From 1841 to 1846, Sir Robert Peel served his second term as Prime Minister during the reign of which British Queen? Tenny. Victoria. Yes, Tenny, absolutely. Bang on. Right, are you going to play your last counter or would you like Sandy or Louise to play theirs? Sandy can play it. Right, Thank Sandy. Thank you very much. She's putting you into bat. <laughs> Where are you going to go? We'll go for drop zone three. Let's try three, please. First time we've used it, and the double's not far off. There's a few just right on the edge as well, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Had a few come over from the side. That's uh, did want it on the other side though. <laughs> Let's see if the top shelf is gonna go for you there, Sandy. Go on, go on, go on. Yes, yes, it does. Go. Just go. Is the come tipping on. point go ready? On. Go oh, on. it's riding. Oh. Go on. Oh. Oh. Wasn't lucky. Ready. Good pass by Tenny that. Nothing drops for you, Sandy, so you stay on £350. That's all three counters used. For the time being, you are out. So, Tenny and Louise, the two of you have one counter left to play each. This question is for you. In December 2020, Nick Hewer announced he would be stepping down as the host of which Channel 4 daytime game show? Tenny. Countdown? He is countdown, yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well so, would you like to play this time or would you like Louise to play? I'm going to play. OK, where are we going to go? There's a big bulge of counters in drop zone three, so I think it's going to be drop zone three. Let's do it. Fire up three, please. Uh, Is that the side you wanted it? Yeah, wanted it more central, to be honest, but... Oh, that's not bad. Oh, oh, oh it's going right. to oh, okay. This could be good. Is that yeah. bulge nice. going to burst? Oh, oh, I mean, just the two, but it's, it's enough nothing. to put you in the lead on your own. £100 for those two. Let's take it from the machine and put it in your bank. That's going to leave you on £450. That's all three of yours used now, Tenny, for the time being you're out. Louise, it's just you, because it's just you. You don't okay. need to use your buzzer. You do need to give me the correct answer to this question to put that last counter into the machine. Right. Here we go. Rudyard Kipling's Just So Stories features the tale of how which heavily built large horned animal got its skin? Boar. Not a boar, no. A large horned rhinoceros? Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, like rhinoceros Sorry, for yeah. just so stories. Didn't come. There's a little bit of pressure when you're the last yeah. one because you've got to give me a correct answer. <laughs> yeah. Louise, sadly, you didn't, so we have to steal your last counter. That's gone into the penalty pot. Okay. As things stand, it's very tight. Tenny is leading, £450. Sandy has 350 Louise has 250 It's not over, though. We have one counter up for grabs in the penalty pot. I'm going to ask you all one more question. If you buzz in and give me the correct answer, you put this count into the machine. If you buzz in and give me the wrong answer, you will be frozen out. Here comes your penalty spot question. In the Western calendar, how many days are there in the sixth month of the year? Tenny. 30. There are half 30. That was super quick. Well done, you. June has 30 days. You are absolutely right. So you get the extra counter. Where do you want to go? There's a little bit of a bulge in two, so sure, I'm okay. going to just drop zone two. All right, fire up drop zone two. Oh, 
Oh, it's quick. Like fell down. Rapid Rapid drop, good. wasn't it? Now, yeah. Can we get at some of those counters between one and two? Mm. Uh, OK. Yeah. Oh, a couple there of you go. OK. Uh, oh, three more okay. sneak in. Another 150 pounds. I'll Let's take, take that. Yeah, it's very tight. They'll all make a difference right now. Three counts across the tipping point. 150 pounds we can add in, which means at the end of the round, Tenny is now leading with 600 pounds. Sandy has 350. Louise has 250 pounds. So join us after the break to see which of today's three players will win through to our head to head and a shot at our 10,000 pound jackpot. See you in a bit. Welcome back to Tipping Point, where Tenny, Sandy and Louise are battling out for the right to play for today's jackpot. In this round, they'll each have 45 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Every correct answer will win them a counter to play into the machine. However, this time, the player with the lowest score at the end of the round will be leaving the game. So, Tenny, you are leading after round one, which means you get to choose. You can play first or you could ask Sandy or Louise to play. I think we're going to play first. Right then. 45 seconds for Tenny, please. Your time starts now. In the traditional UK version of Monopoly, one of the silver playing pieces is in the shape of what small canine animal? Dog. Correct. In biology, an octoploid is an organism that consists of how many sets of chromosomes? Eight. Correct. Which British king was the father of both George IV and William IV? George III. Correct. During the 1980s, American singer Madonna was married to which Oscar-winning actor? Pass. Sean Penn. Which three-letter word comes before York and Mexico to give the names of two US... You. Correct. In UK politics, what official term is used for the largest political party that is not in government? Conservative. Opposition. Mancunian rapper Harrison Armstrong, who released the UK top ten album Polaris in 2020, is better known by what name? H. Correct. The double tongue... Out of time with this. The double tongue and darkness visible are novels by which writer, did you know? No. William Golding. Oh. Five correct answers in there, Tenny. Ooh, That's really good. good. That's well done, you. Really Thank you, guys. Good. Right, where do you want to start? The double counters screaming my name. So I'm going to go for drop zone three. Let's have it. Drop zone three, please. You've got enough to work it forward and get it out. Mm. Tenny, which is key. Do you want to get through for the next round? Flat, flat, flat. Keep your lead. Uh, kind of rolled away from where I wanted it to be. That's OK, though. That's all right. Yeah. There's a little gap, but... But... Oh, oh lucky. Oh, there's two there, actually, I think. I don't think I... Oh! Ooh. Oh! Very oh. good. Seven counters, Teddy. 350 pounds. OK, got four more to put in. What do you fancy doing now? I still want that double counter, so drop zone three. Let's start drop zone three. Couple them. Yes! Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's that's better. Is that a bit better? OK. Yeah. Nice take those couple of silver ones over the top. Yeah, would be nice. Yeah, yeah. nicely done. Um, just if they could flatten out a bit as well. Slide up behind it. Oh, oh, oh my oh, goodness. That was a drop. <laughs> Six more for you, Tenny. £300. Nice. Going along very nicely, up to £650. Still got three more to put in as well. Drop zone four. I need that mystery. Let's do it. Power <laughs> up four, please. <laughs> three counts to put in. It's a nice looking tipping point on the left. Get it on the right. It's yep. just going to get close. Just where I wanted it as well. Big old bounce. Yeah. Hopefully that will go over. Nice. Couple there. Good. There you go. Can we take out the tipping point? Just... Yeah. Oh, wow! Yes, yeah. you can. Six more for you, so another 300 pounds there, Tenny, getting along very nicely, up to 950 in the machine. Still got two more to put in. That mystery is still screaming my name. So I'm going for drop zone four again, please. Fire it up, please. Chase the mystery. Ah, uh, bounces away from the mystery. Could get you a couple, though. Yeah, maybe, like, one or two. You can push them over, yeah. Yeah. Nice slide towards oh, the double the as double, well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. That's true. Getting closer. Uh, Getting closer. One more to go in, Tenny. I think there's a little bit of a bulge. Drop zone two, so I'll go for drop zone two. OK, hunting the bulges now. Far up two for <laughs> Tenny. I'm not sure if that's going to do much. Oh. <laughs> Can we get anything here? Anything to anything? add? Oh, oh no. no. Well, nothing more to add, but £950 is a great return. Tenny, let's take that, put it into your bank. And that's going to leave you on £1,550. Well Very nicely done. Right, Sandy, you are just ahead of Louise, which means you can choose. You can play next if you think the machine is ready. Alternatively, you could ask Louise to play. I'm looking at drop zone two. I think I'm going to play next. Right, then. 45 seconds for Sandy, please. Your time starts now. 
St Pancras International is a train station in which UK capital London. city? Correct. In the 2014 spin-off of the animated film Madagascar, the principal characters are which type of black and white flight birds? Penguins. Oh. Who was the leader of the Bolsheviks when the political party took control of Russia in 1917? Vladimir Lenin. The Ganges and Brahmaputra rivers flow into which large bay that forms part of the Indian Ocean? That pass. Bay of Bengal. The common phrase meaning that a high standard of something is more important than the amount is quality over what? Quantity. Correct. The French dish, aligot, is traditionally made Pass. by blending cheap potato. First held in 1997, World Book Day in the UK takes place in which month of the year? May. March. Which British decimal coin was introduced in 1971 and withdrawn from circulation in 1984? Chilling. Halfpenny. It was a halfpenny coin. Two correct answers oh. in there, Sandy. So we've got two counters. Two chances to try and really intend a bit, but more importantly, try and get away from Louise, put a bit of pressure on her. Yeah. So where would you like to start? I think we're going to have to go for drop zone two. I'm just looking at that bottom shelf. It looks ready to go. It does look strong. So. Doesn't it? Fire up two, please. Needs a slow drop. Needs a slow drop. Oh, Bounces helped you. A... There's a mystery there as yeah, well. There is, but yeah. it's... <laughs> tipping points a bit sparse that side, isn't it? All the yeah. action's a bit further over. Oh. Might get a little bit lateral, maybe. Oh, oh. Maybe not. <laughs> OK. It's all going to come down to this, Sandy. One last counter. Staying with drop zone two. We're staying with drop zone two. Fire it up, please. There you go. Nice that's, settle. Does that feel better? That's, that's more where I want it, yeah. Let's see if we can get something over the top. Come on now. Good squeeze. Go on, go oh, on, go oh, on. Go yes, on. nice. Yes. Oh, this looks that good. Bulge. Get a little push. Go on. Go on. You know yeah. you want to. Oh, oh, no. oh, my God, that's so on the edge. So nothing drops, so you stay, I'm afraid, on £350. Yeah. Right then, Louise. Yes. Great chance for you here. 45 yeah. seconds for Louise, please. Your time starts now. Shaw was a 1994 UK number one single for which boy band whose members include Mark Owen and Gary Barlow? Take that. Correct. The Briton Tommy Fleetwood is most famous for playing which club and ball sport? Right. Rugby. Golf! Oh. In Edward Lear's poem, The Owl and the Pussycat, the owl sings along to which musical instrument? Violin. Guitar. Which former county in northwest England gives its name to a type of cold sauce made from red currants and oranges? Pass. Cumberland. On which part of the body is a beret designed to be worn? Head. Correct. During World War II, HMS Shark was a mode of which underwater transport? Submarine. Correct. Released in April 2021, the AirTag is a pocket-sized tracking device developed by which well-known US technology company? Apple. Correct. Dean Moriarty is a central character in which 1957 Jack Kerouac novel? Anything by no, Jack Kerouac? Pass, On sorry. the road. Four correct answers for you there, Louise. Great. So four chances. Mm. Firstly, to catch Sandy which hopefully will happen, because he's very generously left you a lot of counters <laughs> on the edge. <laughs> Where should we start? I have to start with two. Let's do it. Fire up two, please. Come on. Uh, yeah, come on, somebody's got to go over. I don't think it matters. They're so please. close to going, does it? Yes! Oh, the mystery! Oh. Come on. Come on, I set them up for you, come on. You did. Knock them down. Wow. There you well go. Done. <laughs> Sadly, Sandy, that means we're going to lose you at the end of the round. Seven counters there, Louise. A lovely first drop. £350. <laughs> right, we've got three more to put in. Now, you're trying to catch Tenny. She's 19 ahead of you. Oh. What are you thinking? I think I'm going to try drop zone one this time. OK, fire up one, please. <laughs> flat. Oh, oh no. Oh, really no. slow, bouncy drop, wasn't I it? I hope this is going to be flat. Oh. oh, that is so cruel. That is. Your not timing great. was fine then. It just took a lot yeah. of rebounds on the way, yeah. way down, slows it down. Yeah. Gives well, the shelf time okay. to get back in. Okay, two more to go in. I'm going to try one again because that was unlucky, so I'm going to try again for that one. Drop zone one, please. Yes. It is flat. flat. Can we get the double down? Yeah, yeah. the double. That could be interesting. Oh, it does great. just squeezes in. Two or three that might go here. Whoa. Oh! There's a few more that do go. Goodness! Louise, that's 11 more across oh. the tipping point. What a lovely drop. 550 pounds goes in. She's steaming up to 900 pounds. We've got one more to put in. And Tenny is now only eight counters ahead of you. I could do with the double out of three. Um, yeah, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for three and, and see if I Give can just... Give it a go. Yeah. Fire up three, please. Left or right looks good on the tipping point, and if it goes down the middle, maybe the double drops. 
go. That's the oh, middle. Okay. Yeah, there's some counters on the edge one. there, so could get that double. There oh. you go. Come on now. Good squeeze. Good squeeze. Good squeeze. Oh, uh, now. Oh. That's flat. That oh, is wow. flat. Wow. Okay. That is a cracking double this drop. Could be lucky. Four with the double, and you're catching Tenny. Oh, oh. It's two. You sneak <laughs> the double out. Great dance. I'm getting there. 100 pounds for you there. For those two counters, takes you a thousand. We can double up those last two and give you another hundred pounds. One thousand one hundred pounds in total. What a great return, Louise. Well done. Thank you. you. Let's take that and put it into your bank. And that means at the end of the round, Tenny is leading with one thousand five hundred and fifty pounds, just ahead of Louise, who has one thousand three hundred fifty pounds. Sandy, I'm so sorry. You have been great, but with three hundred fifty pounds, we have found a tip point. Of course, you have won your DJ Dex controller, so it's not all bad. Thanks so much for taking part. No, Sandy. thank you for having me. It's been wonderful. You've been great fun. I really enjoyed having you here. Cheers. Cheers. So it is Tenny and Louise who will be going head to head after the break for the right to play for our ten thousand pound jackpot. See you in a couple of minutes. Welcome back to Tipping Point. Just two players remain, Tenny and Louise. Well done to both of you for getting this far. We're about to find out which one of you is going to take on the machine for our jackpot today. In this round, you're each going to be asked three questions alternately. On your question, you can choose to answer, or you can pass it to your opponent. If you give me a correct answer, you put the counter into the machine. If you give me a wrong answer, your opponent puts the counter into the machine. Whoever has the most money at the end of this round will be today's winner. They'll be playing for our jackpot. So, Tenny, you are still leading, so you get to choose. Would you like the first question, or would you like to offer it to Louise? I'll have the first question. OK, first one for you, Teddy. In 2021, which former Arsenal forward became the first French player to be inducted into the Premier League Hall of Fame? You can play or pass this if you're not sure. Um, I'll be totally honest. I know absolutely nothing about football. Ooh. Um, so I think I will be passing to Louise. Louise, you into your football? No. <laughs> no, no. OK. I was trying to look as if I knew about football, but no, no, I, I don't know. So um, an Arsenal forward who became the first French player. Oh, I, I don't know. I'm going to have to say Thierry Henry. Thierry Henry. Total guess, I'm Total afraid. Total guess. No, OK. Total guess. Tenny, what do you reckon? Thierry Henry? I've heard of him. Have you heard of him? Yeah. yeah. You don't know? Like, let's, Louise, let's see if you're right. Was it Thierry Henry? It was indeed. Well oh, done. my goodness. Well done. Thierry Henry. Well done. <laughs> Nicely Fantastic. done, Louise. Yeah, what a steal. <laughs> OK. Right. I'm going to try three and hope it drops on the left. OK. Drop zone three, please. Yeah. Just four counters to catch Tenny. Oh, down on, on the, the left. left. Like, Just exactly. where you That's wanted it. That's why I wanted it. Mm. It looks like yeah. there's at least four there, doesn't come it? Come on. Oh, oh, come on, come oh. on. It's already just good. Skids up. Come on. Nice. Yo, two drop in. OK. On the steal. £100 for you there. Let's take it and put it in your bank. Bonus of the gap to just £100. You've got 1450 Louise. Keep control. Time okay. for your first question. In 1909, the US explorer Robert Perry claimed to be the first person to reach which of the Earth's extremities? Gosh, I'm not sure, but would Tenny know this? I feel like she wouldn't know it, possibly. She's got a good poker face there. She's um, trying really hard. <laughs> I'm going to pass it, cos I, I don't feel like she knows it. I'm fingers crossed. Right, Tenny, which of the Earth's extremities that Robert Perry claimed to be the first person to reach in 1909? I feel like the only thing I could go for was the moon. The moon? Um, so I'm going to go for the moon and hope that that's the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Is that not an extremity? I don't know what an extremity is. <laughs> oh, no. Louise, what might you have said would have been the extremity he might have reached? I would have probably gone for something like Antarctica. Yeah, like something on the Earth. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. gosh. <laughs> yeah. Some... <laughs> oh, my gosh. I did the right thing. <laughs> no, I'm going to oh, become a really, meme, guys. You really, really did the right thing. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Tenny thinks in 1909 <laughs> he may have reached the moon. <laughs> this is going great. It wasn't the moon. Oh. All my days. Oh. I can't believe that. <sighs> it was the North Pole. Oh, OK. Let's just forget about... Yeah, that had happened. <laughs> <laughs> Louise, you get the counter. OK. I'm going to try two. OK, drop zone two, please. Just looking for two counters and you catch Tenny. Settled okay, nicely. Flat. 
it's in a good area as well. It does look quite good, doesn't it? Here oh, we go. Yeah. Okay, that's going to be good. good. Anything coming out here? Yeah. Just going to move them forwards. Yep. Nice. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Yeah. they thought about it, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, they nearly didn't go. <laughs> and then they dropped, and that's three counters, Louise. 150 okay. pounds. You can take that from the machine and put it into your bank, and that's going to put you on £1,600. You sneak into the lead. Right, Tenny, you get control again. Time for your second question. Tenny, what name is given to the process in which water passes through the cells of a plant, allowing the stem to remain rigid? Oh, I feel like I know the answer, so I don't know if I should go for it or not. I think I'm going to pass it. You're passing it? Yeah. OK, taking the risk. Louise, any ideas? Photosynthesis. Mm. I've got feeling that's something to do with the light rather than water. And then another word that's come to me is osmosis. Um, so, not sure, guess, osmosis. Osmosis. Tenny, what were you thinking? Exactly the way Louise thought was just the same way I thought, but I just didn't know if I was going to take the risk on yeah. osmosis or not. Mm. Let's see so. then, Louise. Is the answer osmosis? Yes. Wow. Oh, you're absolutely <laughs> right, Louise. Gosh, that was another guess, really. Nice, no, it's great. And you get the counter. OK, Chance fantastic. to extend your lead. Where do you want to go? I think I'm going to have a try for three this time. OK, chop some three it is. You're just £50 pounds ahead. This will extend your lead. I've just got to get them over the top shelf. Yeah. Is the thing. It's flat, which is good. Yeah. Silver one might fancy it. No. Oh, oh, oh right. I've just filled the shelf. So no damage done there, Tenny. <laughs> Louise, you keep control, though. Time for your second question. In 2011, Wilmington Station in Delaware was renamed after which US politician? I don't really know. I, I, I feel that Tenny might not know this as well, so I'm going to pass it to her. Right, Tenny. Can you think of any US politicians? I can only think of Barack Obama and Donald Trump. I'm just going to take a guess and I'm just going to go for Barack Obama. Barack Obama, OK. Let's see if you're right, Tenny. Have you found the right answer? Could really do with this. Is the answer Barack Obama? Yeah. Did it oh, think it's so. not Barack Obama. It's his vice president, Joe Biden. Oh. oh, my God. And he used to travel every day from that station. Oh. And that's why they named it after him. Uh, Tenny, good try. Mm, Hard luck. Okay. You were wrong. Louise, you get the counter. Another chance to extend your lead. Where are we going? I'm going to go for three, hopefully cashing on the work I did last time. Let's see. Far up yeah. three. Ooh, there you go. OK, that's, that's not far not where bad. it was, was it? Yeah. One. Oh, Just yeah, that something's silver going one. on. And two, a black counter yeah, goes. Yeah, two different areas. Gap where the black one is. Oh! Yeah. Wow. 11 counters, wow. 550 pounds. Very nice. What a time to strike with an 11 counter drop. Let's take that and put it in your bank. That's going to put you on £2,150. Right, Teddy, back to you. Time for your third and final question. Cowards die many times before their deaths is a line from which Shakespeare play? I'm going to pass. Passing it over? Right, Louise. OK, I'm not, I'm not sure. It, it is going to be a guess again. OK. Um, I'm just going to go Macbeth. Macbeth? Yeah. OK, let's see if you found another correct answer, Louise. You've done pretty well with the guesses so I far. I know. Is it Macbeth? No, it's Julius Caesar. Oh, okay. Yeah, set by Caesar yeah, just before he's yeah. assassinated. Yeah. Tenny, you get a counter. Finally, Woo! chance to get something from the machine. I think I'm going to go for drop zone two. OK, drop zone two, please. Would you like it down the left to yeah, get that yeah. bulge between the two drop zones? that's a good choice, yeah. Ah, oh. hard on the right. Yeah. Might move that mystery forward. Yeah. A bit of lateral, could get something into three. Yeah. Oh, could do. OK. But here we go. Is the silver yeah, one in the middle going to go? Slide into that little bit. One drop. £50 for you, Teddy. Nice to get something in this round. <laughs> Let's take that from the machine and put it in your bank. It's going to put you on £1,600. And Louise, we come back to you. Time for your third and final question. Meryl Streep stars as Broadway actress Dee Dee Allen in which 2020 Netflix musical film? I don't know, so I'm going to have to pass. Sorry. Right, Tenny, let's see if we can steal this one last counter. Have you heard of it? Have you watched it? I have watched it, and I, the name okay. is escaping my mind. So you can tell yeah. us what happens, and maybe it will yeah. come to you? So I know Meryl Streep, and I know James Corden's in it, and it's about this girl, her school's banning her from the prom. I'm trying to remember what the actual name of the film is. I just guess, is it called Prom? You're going with Prom? Yeah. Let's find out. 
is the answer prom. Yeah, what? we can accept yes. it. It's well called done. the prom, the but we can prom. accept prom. <gasps> well oh. done. You found <laughs> the right answer by thinking it through. You've won the last counter, which gives you one last chance to get something from the machine. So where should we go? I'm going to aim for that double, so I'm going to go drop zone one. Let's do it. Fire up one, please. Get it hard on the right, and let your silver one separate. Get a double shove. Yeah. You never know. On the right. Oh, it's not oh, far off. Flat. They it's might just the, fill a gap. It's, it's not on the right, though. No. Oh, oh Teddy, hard it. luck. Oh. It's all right. That's all right. And sadly, nothing comes out. Which means at the end of the round, Louise, very well played with £2,150. You. Well you are today's winner. Congratulations Thank to you. you. Tenny, I'm so sorry. Well You've been done, absolutely Penny. brilliant. But I'm afraid with £1,600, we have found your ticket point. Thank you for playing, Tenny. It's OK. Thank you. It's been well lovely done. to meet you. So, Louise, as our champion, in a few moments, I'm going to ask you to fit this chatbot counter into the machine. It's bigger and better than all those other ones, because you get this one out, you're going to go home with £10,000. Wow. wow. OK. Can Louise master the machine by finding its chatbot tipping point? We'll find out after the break. Welcome back to the final part of Tim Point. Louise is our winner today and has managed to get £2,150. Well done, you. Thank you. Fantastic game you've played, Louise. And it's just you and the machine now and the chance to go home with our jackpot. Yeah. Any thoughts what you might like to do with the money if you get the jackpot counter out? Um, I will have to take my whole family on a lovely holiday to the Mediterranean so we can all be together. Oh, wouldn't that be fab? How many yeah. are there in the family? Who have you got? There'll be um, me, my husband and my three children and probably a couple of extras. Lovely. <laughs> yeah. A few stragglers that want to come on along yeah, for the I ride. Yeah, I think so. Wouldn't that be lovely to be able to do that? Get you all it together. It would be really nice. Have yeah. a fabulous time. Well, fingers yeah. crossed we get you the jackpot counter. It'd be a great way of celebrating, Louise. Yeah. Best of luck. Thank you so much. Time to find out whether Louise is going to win our jackpot. In a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put the jackpot counter into the machine. If you want to go home with £10,000, you just need to get it out. If you want to go home with £20,000, see if you can get it to drop with the double counter. Wow. Here's how you're going to do it. I'm going to show you six question categories. For each category, you can choose to play one, two or three counters into the machine. The more you play four, the harder the question will be. The more you win, the better your chances of getting the jackpot counter out. Yeah. So, where should we put this jackpot counter of ours? That double counter is in a really good position, isn't it? I think because of that, it has to be one. Drop some one? Yeah. Let's do absolutely. it. Absolutely. Fire up one, please. So over on the edge. OK, on the edge. So if we can bring um, them all forward together. Yeah. That's how we can do it. Just drag them as a team. Two can of sneak in. Let's give you £100 for those two. £2,250 in the machine. Your jackpot counter in a very nice position on the left-hand side yeah. of drop zone one. OK, let's have a look at your categories. This is what we've okay. got for you. Nature, film, sport, language, geography and music. You can play them in any order you like. So where do you want to start and how many? Sport is not great for me. Um, do we get it out of the way or do we leave it? Do you know what? I think I might get it out of the way, actually. I, I, I mean, I was going to go top to bottom, but I think I'll get that out of the way. OK. And I think I might just go for two. Sport for two? Sport, yeah. All right. Sport for two, please. The football clubs, Cheltenham Town, Swindon Town and Bristol City all have what? Nickname? The Robins, the Canaries, or the Seagulls? I don't know about football. What would be most likely? I think for some reason I'm going to go the Seagulls. It, it is a total guess, I'm afraid. Seagulls? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go that. We're but... going to go with the Seagulls. Have you found the right answer? Is their nickname the Seagulls? No. The Robins? No. Oh, Seagulls I... is Brighton. Oh, okay. Canaries is Norwich. They play in yellow. Never mind. Okay, Never not mind. to worry. It would have been a bonus, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay, it's it out would. of the way now. So do you want to go top to bottom from here? I'm going to go for my next least favourite, which would be music. Okay. And how many are we going for? I'm going to try to two. two. Music for two, please. In which genre of music was Louis Armstrong a famous name? Jazz, rock, or country? One of my husband's favourite songs, I think, is. By Louis Armstrong. Don't ask me for the title of it. <laughs> OK. <laughs> so I think it's jazz. Should we go jazz? Yeah. We're going to go with jazz, please. Louis Armstrong. Was he famous in the world of jazz? Yeah. Great. Absolutely right. Was it all the time in the world? All the time in the world. <laughs> Lovely. Well done. Right, drop zone one. Drop zone one, absolutely. Fire it up, please. On the left. It needs to be left. Come on. Oh, Ooh, nearly. Mm. Mm, OK. Oh, it's, it's touched a little it. Nudge. Yeah, but it okay. hasn't... That's all right. 
Yeah. One more to go. Drop someone again? Absolutely, yeah. Powder. Oh. Hope it doesn't ride. That's a silver one. Oh, oh, it does. Oh, that's unlucky. That is unlucky. Well, you just released it at the wrong time, didn't you? It's just hanging over okay. the edge. Back to the categories. I'll go to the top of nature and I'm going to try three. Take more of a risk, okay? Yeah. Nature for three. Bwindi Impenetrable National Park in Uganda is said to be home to approximately 40% of the world's population of which animal? African elephant, giant tortoise, or mountain gorilla? Gosh, I've never heard of it. But Uganda, I wouldn't have said, would be a mountain gorilla. OK. I'm going to go African elephant, because I, don't, I feel like it wouldn't be a giant tortoise either. OK. So, yeah, let's, Elephants. Go, let's go African elephant. We're going with African elephant, please. The Bwindi Impenetrable National Park. Is that where you'd find 40% of the world's African elephants? Oh. It's the gorillas. Was the it? Mountain gorillas. Oh, I wouldn't have gone for that. Okay. No, no. Not to worry. Let's go back to the categories. We're halfway. Um, let's go language. OK, how many? Three. Language for three. Mysophobia is the fear of which of these? Balloons, germs, or the number 13? Gosh, I really don't know. I'm going to just go in the middle and go germs. Just down the middle with germs? Down the middle. We're going with germs, please. Mysophobia. Is it a fear of germs? Yes. Oh, lucky guess. Brilliant. Right, drop zone one. Drop zone one, absolutely. Right up, please. It's OK. That's just going to fill out. That silver one's been hanging. Much better timing. Oh, much, much better. Much better placement. Look at that, Louise. You get the timing, right? Look what happens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can get you some money. Well okay. done. Three counts across the tipping point. £150 goes in, takes us up to £2,400. Two more to go. Brilliant. Drop someone again? Yes, thank you. Fire it up. Yeah, nice. Oh, it's on, not far away. On. It's not far. That's flat. Oh, it's got to be flat. Come on. We've got a chance because it'll be heavy on those black oh, counters. Oh, it looks flat. I think it might squeeze this over. Oh, now, my goodness. Though. Come on now. Come on. Come on now. What? Yes! <laughs> that is great. Well done. Two counters drop in. Another hundred pounds, two thousand five hundred pounds. Fantastic. We've got only four in, and we're on the bottom shelf. <gasps> well, let's put one more in, though. Right, yeah. Drop someone again. Okay, one again. Fire it up. Come on, left again. Oh. Oh, it's not far. Oh, that could have gone me going flat. I think that might ride now. Oh, do you think? Yeah, I think it does. Uh, oh. Okay, not to worry. That's okay. It keeps that little section heavy if that rides like that. There you go. Mm, and it okay. means that we can still slide them down the edge. But we're on the bottom shelf. OK, Two yes. Two categories left. Geography for three, please. Geography for three. Which cold, strong wind in southern France blows down from the north and along the Rhone Valley towards the Mediterranean? The Bora, Sirocco or Mistral? I'm feeling like Mistral could be more likely. Um, again, I don't really know, so it's just a sort of... Intuition. Yeah, that's it. So uh, I'm going to try Mistral, but I'm not sure. Should we light it up? Yeah, please. Going with Mistral, please. The cold, strong wind, is it known as the Mistral? Yes. Oh, fantastic. Lovely, well done. Three counts. Fantastic, it's obviously got to be one. Let's do it. Yeah. Top zone one. Oh. Okay, well, it might out. release some off the top there. They could spread. Oh, oh dear. They're all building okay. nicely, aren't they? Okay. Well, fill the gap. Okay, two more to go. Drop someone again? Absolutely, yeah. Hold up. Oh, that's better, Louise. Yeah. Come on yeah. now, Louise. Take come over on, a fair bit over of that top. shelf. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come oh. on. And the double is there. It's heavy. Is the double going to get out? Three counters drop. Okay. Look how much is ready to go. 2,650. One more to go in. Drop zone one, definitely. I've Drop got to stick with one, it. Please. <laughs> Won't need much, and they'll go over those ones. Yeah. You can get it right Fine. on the edge. Just get it on that side. I think oh. that'll be enough. I think it's going to go over. Yeah? Yeah. 
Watch this. Go on, go on, go on. Oh, go on. oh, oh, oh no! Oh, oh, that is so on the edge. I thought that would go. It's just a bit too heavy. Oh, we're in the wrong place. Really cruel. <laughs> OK. It's actually further over. It's just super heavy. So get it on that side, I think. Yeah, on the left. Spread really nicely. Yeah. OK, not to wait. Let's go back to the categories. One last category, oh. film. OK, I've got to try for three. Yeah, I've got to get those three counters. Film three. Which actress played the title role in the 1989 film Driving Miss Daisy? Gloria Stewart, Angela Lansbury or Jessica Tandy? I mean, Angela Lansbury, she was doing stuff around that time, wasn't she? It's sort of the 80s. Um, I don't know Gloria Stewart. I don't really know that name. Um, and Jessica Tandy... I feel as if it's not Angela Lansbury, even though she's the one, I, the name I know best. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go Jessica Tandy, I, I guess, again, I'm afraid. Um, I don't really know, I'm afraid. Let's go Jessica Tandy, then. Oh. Have you found the right answer? Was the character played by Jessica Tandy? Yes. <gasps> that she is won lucky. the Best Actress Did she? Oscar. I should have known that, you see. I should have. <laughs> right, three counters. Well done. I've got to do this. Come on. Drop zone one. <laughs> Absolutely one. Fire up one, please. Come on, on the left. Come on. Oh, it went and rolled. It could do it. It could do it. It's too oh. heavy, Louise, it's too heavy. That's oh. so frustrating. Bit further left and they'll go. Two more to go. OK, one again, thank one. you. Oh, where's it going? Oh, wrong side. Whipping all over the drop zone, not yeah. now. Ah. Oh. That top show, very full. <sighs> one more to go in. Yeah, one. Drop zone one. Last chance for one. In the right better, place. In better. the right place. Could we get two over here? Could we get two over? Yeah. Oh, Louise, it's lined oh, up on the top. It is. It's going to get really close on the bottom. Oh. Four counters drop in. Two hundred pounds for you, Louise. Takes oh. two thousand eight hundred and fifty pounds. We're out of questions. We're out of categories, but it's not over. I'm going to offer you one last chance to leave today with ten thousand pounds. <gasps> As things stand, you've got two thousand eight hundred and fifty. You can walk away with that money right now, or you could trade it for three final counters put into the machine in the hope of getting the jackpot counter out. If you decide to take the trade, though, nothing else has any value. So, you'll leave with £10,000 or you'll leave with no cash whatsoever. Question is, Louise, Gosh. would three be enough? If they fell on the left, one would be enough because it is on the edge there. It's right there. But £2,850 is, is a lot to risk, isn't it? Oh, go on, I'm going to risk it. OK, I'll ask yeah. you one last time then, Louise. Oh. Would you like to take the money or the trade? I'll take the trade. She's going to take the trade, everybody. So, Louise, you've given me £2,850. Oh. Gosh. I'm giving you three counters to put into yeah. the machine. We're all desperate for it to drop for you, Louise. You ready? Yeah. I'm really nervous now. Me too. <laughs> Let's get it out. Fire up, drop zone one. Light it up, please. Here we go. Come on, Louise. Just needs to go left. Come on, left, left, left. Oh. Okay, not that left. But I tell you what, we move that double forward, things could get very interesting. Ooh. Things could get very interesting, Louise. Mm. Oh, that was a great drop. It was a great <laughs> drop. Two more to go in. Drop zone one again? Yeah. Fire it up. Just need one in the right place, I Louise. I know, I know. <gasps> Louise, is that the oh, one? Wait. It is. Be on it. Is Come that? On. Is it going to go? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Oh. oh, Louise, slide. Is it going to slide up? Is it going to nudge it? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! I can't believe it. You did it! I can't believe it. Louise, you did <laughs> it. That is unbelievable. I honestly came came here today just for the experience, and I, I, like I can't believe it. What an experience it's been. Uh, unbelievable. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How does that feel? I can't take it in, to be quite honest. It's unbelievable. I, I've watched this show so much and uh, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. That's incredible. I am so, <laughs> so pleased for you, Louise. Thank you so much. Going home with £10,000. What does this mean for the family, then? We're going to have a fantastic holiday. You will. All of us together. Into the Mediterranean. Enjoy that Mistral. 
when it comes <laughs> I through. I will, I will, absolutely. Now I know, I'll never forget that. <laughs> well done, Louise. You've played a fabulous game. Well, thank you. So exciting. That's amazing. <laughs> Well, Louise was languishing in last place until she raided the machine in round two, winning 20 counters to take her place in the head-to-head. -head. When 11 counters fell for her in round three, her place in the final was secured. She got the jackpot counter into the perfect spot on the left-hand side of drop zone one, but the machine made her work really hard. When the 11th counter left the jackpot winking at the win zone, she had no choice but to take the trade, and we are delighted that she did, because she needed just two of those three trade counters to send the jackpot over the edge. A really fabulous £10,000. Goodness me, what a game you've played, Louise. Oh, well done. Oh, thank to you To come so all much. the way back from where you were in round yeah, one and round two yeah. to be going home with £10,000. I know, pounds. it's like a dream. Thank you for everything. It's been fantastic. So there you go, Louise is leaving with the jackpot. She was close to going out at times. She persevered, she stayed with it. She was brave enough to take the trade. And to get that jackpot out on the trade is a very special feeling. Join us next time in the fate of three more players for hanging the balance on Tipping Point. Goodbye. Thanks.